At a school in Kerumusa, Dakar, pupils are hard at work on a recycling project, making benches out of old tires and rubbish. At first, there were no garbage bins in the school. But since we started to build those recycled benches, the school started to bring some bins. What we see as rubbish, for example, when someone buys a drink, they drink and throw away the bottle. It's not like that now. What we throw away is more valuable. Yes, it's important that the school is clean because people come here and see a clean school, and that is good. Senegal produces about 2 million tons of waste a year, but several initiatives to fight against pollution, including a ban on plastic bags, have not been successful. This initiative is aimed at teaching students about waste management and recycling. So far, seven benches have been built at the school. It allowed us to pick up the waste and recycle, which is already a fast step towards improving the school's environment because all the bags and empty bottles that were lying around were picked up, put inside the tires, compacted, and that really enabled us to clean the environment around us. Ecomen first tested the project's viability at So's house. He made a variety of functional pieces in his courtyard, including tables and chairs. The NGO has so far completed 50 projects, one of them in the country's biggest university, Sheikh Anta Diop. There, they made 400 colorful tables, benches, and a dozen flower pots out of 900 recycled car tires and 60 tons of waste. At first, there were few students who came here to learn because there were trees. There was rubbish and all of that. It was a bit dirty. But today, people come here every day to clean their chairs and so on, to pick up the rubbish that is in the environment. More than 16,000 tires and 17,000 tons of waste have been recycled and transformed for the organization's projects in Senegal alone. Ecomen has similar projects in Tunisia, Morocco, and Ethiopia, where it's also conducting training. Mahia Mutua, CGTN.